The diagonals of parallelograms have a special property. Theorem 6.6 states, if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then its diagonals bisect each other. So in the diagram, if ABCD is a parallelogram, then segment AE is congruent to segment CE, and segment BE is congruent to segment DE. Problem three, using algebra to find lengths. Solve a system of linear equations to find the values of x and y in parallelogram KLMN. What are KM and LN? Well, consider what we think on the left. The diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. We just learned that. So we can write that segment KP is congruent to segment MP and segment LP is congruent to segment NP. We'll set up the system of linear equations by substituting the algebraic expressions for each segment length. So equation one, y plus 10 equals 2x minus eight, and equation two, x equals y plus two. Now we can use the substitution method to solve this system of equations, and we'll substitute y plus two for x in equation one, and then we solve for y. We find that y equals 14, and now we can substitute 14 for y in equation two and solve for x. We find that x equals 16. Finally, we'll use the values of x and y to find km and ln. We know that km equals two times kp, and kp is y plus 10. y is 14. So we find that km equals 48. A similar process to find ln, two times LP, LP is X, X is 16, and two times 16 is 32. Your turn, part A. What are the values of X and Y in parallelogram PQRS, and what are PR and SQ? In part B, a reasoning item. In finding the values of X and Y in parallelogram KLMN, does it matter which variable you solve for first? Explain.